Hello, in today's video I'll explain what is Polkadot Vault app, formerly known as Parity Signer, and also what are its main benefits over Ledger. About a month ago you could see on Twitter that many prominent Polkadot leaders were sharing this tweet about turning their old smartphone into an air-gapped vault using Polkadot Vault app. So Polkadot Vault mobile app was developed by Parity Technologies, the company developing Polkadot Network. And for me personally, the significance of Polkadot Vault grew even more given the recent announcement from Ledger about the Ledger Recover service that comes with the latest firmware update. Some people People, myself included, just don't feel comfortable at all when there is even just a hypothetical possibility of your recovery seed phrase leaving your ledger device and potentially being shared with some third party. So Polkadot Vault fixes this problem, of course assuming that you will follow all safety measures recommended by Parity, the most important ones being removing any SIM card from your smartphone, forgetting any edit Wi-Fi networks to keep your phone 100% of time offline, and at the same time having permanently enabled airplane mode on your phone. Polkadot Vault app is available for both iOS and Android devices. Polkadot Vault serves as a cold storage for all your substrate-based private keys, so with Polkadot Vault installed on your old smartphone, you can turn your phone into an air-gapped cold wallet, where you can securely store your DOT, KSM and also all parachain native tokens. It's important to note that the primary purpose of Polkadot Vault is to serve as a vault for your assets, so the app is technically not supposed to work as a wallet, because it doesn't allow you to transfer funds directly. But in combination with other Substrate apps like Talisman or Polkadot.js app, you will of course be able to transfer funds from your Polkadot Vault, it just requires a few more steps to transfer funds, but that's exactly what makes Polkadot Vault so secure. You will be able to transfer tokens by scanning QR codes without exposing your private keys to the internet. So yes, to some degree Polkadot Vault app works similarly to Ledger, in a sense that your private keys are stored in a cold storage, which stays offline, never connected to the internet. So you can view Polkadot Vault app as an alternative cold storage for your private keys for all your substrate-based accounts on all chains. However, there are some major distinctions between Polkadot Vault and the Ledger, you can read about them here on Polkadot Wiki. So this is the UI of Polkadot Vault, very simple, just four tabs, key sets, scanner, logs and settings. By clicking key sets and add key set, you can generate a new seed phrase, hence a new private key, or you can recover your existing private key. Under this scanner tab, you will be scanning QR codes to sign transactions. Under logs tab, you will see all activities performed within the vault. It's important to check the log every time before you use the app, that way you will notice any potentially suspicious activity in the log that you haven't performed in the app yourself. And under settings you can back up your recovery seed phrase, add different parachains to the vault and also add the metadata for all parachains. Adding and updating metadata for each chain will be needed for signing transactions from the vault and it can be done on this metadata update portal. The Vault app will also tell you if the phone has been even for a second connected to the internet. In that case you will see this red warning icon, which means your Polkadot Vault device has been connected to a network, either mobile, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, all of which represents a potential risk of losing your funds. In such a case, here is what you should do. I'm not doing a full tutorial on Polkadot Vault in this video, but I'll refer you to this comprehensive official tutorial on Polkadot YouTube channel, which shows each steps very clearly. I've been testing out Vault app quite extensively for a couple of days and I really love it, as the Vault app really serves as a very secure cold storage for your private keys. But I gotta admit, Polkadot Vault is a cold storage solution rather for more experienced true Polkadot enthusiasts. As you will see in the tutorial, using Polkadot Vault to the fullest initially requires a little bit more effort than you might be used to from all substrate-based wallets. By far the biggest benefit of Polkadot Vault over Ledger is that the Vault allows you to store native tokens of all parachains, 
which unfortunately still is not the case with Ledger, so for some parachain tokens, Polkadot Vault is still the only cold storage option. And the second big benefit compared to Ledger is that the Vault app is completely free, so if you kept your old smartphone with the hope that one day you will put it back to use, now it might be the right time. I'll be happy to answer your questions in the comments, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.